spelling a bid to promote sustainability and boost the local economy. An environmentalist is calling on the developers of the anticipated Six Senses Resort in Grand Bahama to collaborate with and financially support local farmers. The move aims to foster local food production and reduce dependency on imports. Here's that report. We are fortunate that their eyes are now focused on the Bahamas for coming and, and developing, but we need to bring from them much more that would benefit our people. Amid ongoing public consultation for the proposed 64-villa luxury sustainable resort Six Senses, environmentalist Joe Darville advocates for a collaboration, suggesting that the developers join forces with the government and local farmers, offering financial support to the farmers to bolster local food production. One of the reasons why we are not not having uh, sufficient and progressive development in farming and producing food, vegetables and so on uh, for sale to the supermarkets, the hotels, etc. is because the governments are not just PLP, but all the governments have been very comfortable in the um, taxation and the VAT that they get from all of the importation of everything that goes into the supermarkets. And during a recent town meeting, Six Senses representatives underscored a keen interest in local collaboration through their Eat and Grow program, underscoring a commitment to a farm-to-table experience. And as the project gains traction, Darville highlights the increasing demand for produce. So we have to be very progressive in this regard and have an ongoing a discussion with the Six Senses, with the developers, to make sure, because even when I posed a question to them, they could not be, uh, be specific about anything. Even when I said to them, that is difficult now for farmers to even produce because they do not have the wherewithal, the financial resources, and the manpower to uh, produce enough on a large scale to even supply. Taking it a step further, he advocates for the establishment of a Bahamas Agriculture and Marine Science Institute on every major Bahamian island to provide local farmers with additional resources to enhance production, as he knows that farmers on island face formidable hurdles. It is very difficult for them to find sufficient ground sufficiently above sea level. The, the other one is to be able to uh, convince the um, Crown Land Office in Nassau to make provision for land for Bahamians. Every Bahamian, whether man or woman, at the age of 18, should be afforded Crown Land in this country. Now the $250 million Six Senses project remains on course for its anticipated 2026 opening. And the Beller developers assure they are committed to integrating themselves within the community and providing opportunities for local participation and benefit. So yes, I think uh, working collaboratively with the government um, to do this would be really helpful. In some cases, uh, when we ha if we had more land to utilize or that was farmland, we might try and aid uh, farmers or, or some other aid them with, with what we actually have to provide. But I think what we have to provide is a commitment to purchase from them, therefore give them forward-looking numbers about what they need to produce.